Battle of One, and yes, I'm in a suit. So if you have not seen my review for uh, uh, Venom, and I pointed something on my door, this was it. And you're now wondering why I was in a rush in making that video. And actually, funny, funny, funny story, funny story. Um, where, where did I that? I thought I had that somewhere. Hold, hold on a second. I, I swear. I... What, what did I do with it? Is that somewhere? No, that's not. That's actually a collection. I... Snake freaking bit me. It's right in front of me. It's right in front of me. I was in I was in a rush on making that video. I completely forgot to tell you guys my review scale. Well, I have to tell you that in my re-review. -re yes, I'll be making a re-review. And why? Mainly because in that review I did. I, I mainly talked about my experience and basically 25% of my experience and 25... No, wait. No, wait. Scratch that. 75% of my experience and 25% of the movie. So basically the re-review will just be me talking about my entire thoughts on the movie and i'm actually gonna try to take notes i'm actually gonna try to take notes but anyway it's just like throw that off the back but yeah i that this whatever i'm wearing was on the door if, you know like i pointed at it and just yeah but yeah i'll tell you where i was at last night my first homecoming dance and i'll be telling you guys my experience and uh not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous and had a bad feeling that I was not gonna have a good time. Why? I just, I just don't, you know, I just don't know why. I don't know why because I think I had a fun time there. I don't know what was it I was so worried about. Like, like I'm most probably thinking of like I'm probably gonna have that experience where I where it's shown in the movies or shows, and just like I just got like I mean. I always think of something that's always going to happen. Like, I feel like this is going to happen to me. Like, how this happened to him in that episode of whatever show I'm watching. But, like, that's just a show. This, this is real. I, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. But, yeah. And funny story. It's right now, like, uh, 10, okay, it was, it was 10, 11. Now it's 10, 12. But, yeah, it's 10, it's 10. It was, okay, it was 10, 11. But now it changed to 12. So, yeah, that's. That's, that's funny, but it's 10, 12 a.m. right now, and uh, you probably wondered, did I just put this on for this video? I was supposed to make this video last night, and I got home around 12, and I told Ryan that I'd be playing Fortnite with him after I made this video, and then I took, took it this way. I was going to go put this way until I realized, oh, wait, I have to make a video where I talk about my experience, thoughts on my first homecoming dance. And I ended up falling asleep. I was very tired anyway, so Ryan, if you see this video, I'm very sorry if I didn't play Fortnite with you. I was very tired, but I'm going to try to play Fortnite with you today. Once I take this off, like, this is actually a good suit. And yesterday when Dad, when Dad, Dad uh, was putting, like, basically using a towel with water, just, dry, just, I don't know what he was doing exactly, I completely forgot, but. I told him that I wasn't one of those, I wasn't going to act like one of those guys and like, don't ruin this suit. Like, I was like, okay, I did, okay, I, I, okay, that's, uh, no, okay, okay. And then Ron is just like, hey, careful with this, oh my god, okay, now I'm acting one of those, one of those kids that are like, don't ruin this suit. And, oh, I mean, this is a good suit, I mean, I mean, I look good, I look good, I'm, uh, yeah, you can't fully see, just... Well, definitely, hold up. Yeah. Do YouTubers make these types of videos where they talk about my home? Talk about their homecoming experiences? Or am I the first one or the only one? Only one doing this. Oh, good lord, I'm embarrassing myself. <clears throat> but yeah. Anyways, let's get down to business and talk about my experience about my homecoming dance. And also. Just gonna say this randomly. I was watching some TV spots for Venom and Carnage because oh, I just realized something. Five days to go, baby. And Venom and Carnage is unleashed. Is that even? Why am I always trying to say cool things, but it always comes out weird or something? I don't know. I don't know. But also, my hair is a mess again. Like my dad used that same hair gel that he used for when we went to the. Wedding rehearsal and then the wedding around a couple of weeks ago, which I have made vlogs about. I have made vlogs about, but 
anyways, let's talk about my experience. So my so yeah, I I'm just doing my schoolwork. I'm just doing my schoolwork, you know, reading and then kind of getting scratches, just writing something classified that I'll may tell you guys soon. I don't know. I don't know if it's official, but if it is, I'll tell you guys what it is in the near future. But um um while I'm just doing whatever the heck I'm doing around sixth or fifth period, I then hear someone say the word homecoming and then like let me just repeat what I what happened. Say what now? So yeah, that word got my attention, and that just told me like, is there? A... Ooh, that's my mom. <laughs> I better go take this. Anyway, I just got done talking to my mom. She was asking how the homecoming dance was, and we both chatted about uh, basically my room. They're cleaning out my room, but not throwing anything out. Just cleaning it, putting my stuff, all my stuff in my bins. Not my bins. In bins, I meant to say. In bins. And pretty much my little brother, Javi, is going to be having that until I come back. Just watching TV on my TV. Let's just hope he doesn't watch anything that's on my account. Because he should have his own account or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I was just done talking to my mom on the phone. And as I was saying, also, I told my mom that she could check out my video, which would be this. You know, then she could hear full details about my homecoming experience and everything. But still, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Okay, before I continue, I don't know if I mentioned this, if I did. But if I didn't, then I'm just gonna mention it anyways. Even if I did, I don't know, I cannot remember at the moment. But, uh, so yeah, right after, I, actually, I'm gonna actually tell you guys later. I'm actually gonna continue. Um, so yeah, that, that word caught my attention, and I'm just like, Oh, it's a school dance? Wait a minute. It's a homecoming dance. This is one of those school dances I've had back in Shelton, like, like those Halloween soul shoes or the, uh, uh, damn, I forgot. I mean, I, I've had school dances at my school from elementary, middle school, LBGH. I think I've only had one dance at LBGH, mainly because of COVID, uh, well, ruined the rest of the year of 2020, ruined 2020. And I think that only dance was the Halloween social around October, which was actually my brother's birthday. It took place around my brother's birthday, so. Ah, that's funny. And crazy. But yeah, but yeah, as I was saying. So yeah, I pretty much, I needed to find the uh, document and just detail. I, mean, I needed to find details about the homecoming dance and I go to Canvas, which is the website and everything. Go to modules, announcements, or blah, 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 blah. And I do find it and it's taking place around the 25th of September. So yeah. Which was yesterday. <laughs> <coughs> oh God, that was a that was a horrible cough. That just came out of nowhere. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. As I was saying, um, I pretty much informed my dad and I guess Nana about us, and she was, uh, she was here from the uh, from the fourteenth to the eighteenth of September. So yeah, she was basically here, and uh, she was basically here for a couple of days. But she'll be back next month, and I'm excited for that. But, um, so yeah, I informed them about it, and I pretty much need a homecoming ticket, which happens to be, I, I'm surprised I still have it, like, I, 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 like, I, I, like, I thought they were supposed to take it, but I guess we could keep it for memories, but, uh, it was this. Made it perfectly on my bed. As I was saying, as I was saying, so, yeah, I pretty much need to get a homecoming ticket, and, um, yeah, I asked, if, I asked my dad if he could try come to the school to get it. And I guess it took us probably two, three days or something. But eventually, either my... Actually, no way. It was my Nana. It was definitely my Nana. So my Nana had then got the ticket for me. And then the next day, I had to go to the office classroom and then get the ticket. And then, yeah, I finally got, I finally got the ticket. And, yeah. And I pretty much just had to had one week to be prepared for Uncle and Dan's. I was a bit worried. I was a bit worried. Because Nana had been telling me this multiple times while she was here with me. Um, trying to make some friends. Because, um, I don't know if I mentioned this in my video where I talk about my experience with how 10th grade is going, but mainly how is how's my school experience going in Las Vegas and everything. And I, I don't know, I probably didn't mention it, but if I didn't, I'll probably mention it here. But if I did mention it, then I'll mention it again here. So, I didn't bother making any friends because I'd rather would have, I'd rather would see my friends at, um, at my high school at home. Where I could hang out with Ryan, make YouTube kind of, but also hang out with my other friends as well. Besides Ryan, I just basically hang out with all my friends that I know back in Shelton. 
and just experience high school at my place. I, have, I mean, I, I mean, people are probably going to be asking me, did no make friends with you? And I'll just say this. I didn't make any friends with any of them. Like, no one didn't make friends with me because I didn't want to have any friends. Make any friends with That sounds confusing. But basically what I'm trying to say is that I didn't bother wanting to make other friends. And I can understand where, what Nana is saying. And I wouldn't say I have made any friends at a Mahal, M- Mojave. I keep saying Moji High School, but it's pronounced Mojave High School. But let's just say I've met some cool people from my classes. and. I guess we've sort of been hanging out. I mean, there's one that appreciates my art. We're like, I shook, like, hold up, hold up. When I showed him this, he was, I, I don't know how to explain his reaction, but he was impressed. He was, he was impressed. Just like, I think he said, like, it, it looks clean. It looks clean. Something like that. I, I don't know what he said exactly, but it had to, I think it was something like that. I could kind of, like, look at this. This is, this is just, I can't stand look at this. It's just so good. What the hell did I do to it? Like I used I used markers and a sharpie and colored pencils, and I colored the pencils and the markers over the colored pencils. Which is oh my god, I'm I'm a madman. I'm a freaking madman. I'm not gonna put it on the floor. Why would I put it on the floor? That's a that's crazy. That's freaking crazy. But but yeah, I but yeah, uh, but yeah, and another class. Uh, one helps me with some problems on chemistry assignments, and then I just play soccer with uh bunch of kids because mainly i don't want to walk around in the sun when we're outside because i'd be burning to death so i'd rather would just play soccer yeah yeah but yeah but uh i was just saying um what was i what was i oh yeah so pretty much i asked my dad if he could try get me a suit because i'll admit I, I, i'm gonna admit this i wanted to go to homecoming dance looking like bully mcguire basically uh just basically a uh, black suit and this uh this here black no tie just black basically all black basically looking like toby Maguire. why just so i could do that damn dance which would be that that i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i've been doing it way too much especially on the channel which would be uh Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up that clap up. Oh, my belly. My belly. Why? Oh, no, 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 no. Screw that. Screw that. Oh, my God. It showed my stomach. Oh, God. What did I do to the suit while I was sleeping on my bed? Okay. But basically, you could get the, you get the idea of what I was doing there. You get the idea of what I was trying to go. For. I basically wanted to look like Bully McGuire. And of course, I had I couldn't do it. I couldn't get a Bully McGuire suit, or even look like Bully McGuire because of dress code. But what was there? I don't think anyone was following the dress. I mean, there was some that were following following the dress code. But let's just say some were fifty fifty on following the dress code and not following the dress code. But just like I could have, I could have worn the Bully McGuire suit. I could have worn the Bully McGuire. I, I, I cannot talk correctly, but. I could have worn the bully McGuire suit, Dad. But but yeah, but what's happened happened. What's happened happened. But I looked I looked good anyways in this. I looked good anyways. I'm now gonna be embarrassed that I showed my stomach while doing that dance. Good God. But but as but yeah. So I, of course my dad then told me he got the suit and uh, yeah I was pretty much gonna have to deal with whatever suit that he got me. And uh, yeah, I pretty much just yeah just skip a couple of days and. You know, uh, they are, I actually scratched that. So, I know, I, I mean, I didn't know much about Homecoming Dance. I could have just watched Spider-Man Homecoming just to see examples. And thankfully, that has to do with a Homecoming Dance, sort of. I don't know how to explain it, but you could basically, I don't know if people go there alone. And I was a bit afraid that I'd be not having a good time and I wouldn't be dancing much. And that I, that I probably would just... Like, I wouldn't have a good time, and I'd be dancing alone. I just, I don't know. I honestly don't know what I was worried about. I mean, I had a good time. I had a good time, but I could have, I could have asked a friend to go there with me, like, or I could, I mean, I could have, I could have asked a friend, even if I, 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 again, I have not made friends there, but 
maybe I might. I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. I just, I oh, I kind of avoid making friends there because again, I'd rather see my friends at my high school at home. But as I was, but yeah, um, I could have asked someone to go there with me, like a friend, not like a date thing, or I could have asked a girl to a homecoming dance. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm I'm too damn nervous. I'm too damn I'm too damn nervous to be doing that type of stuff. And I don't like to talk about, you know, my relationships or anything. Just like to keep my love life private, similar to how I don't want to have, how I don't want to have anyone knowing my business and my private and my life. Just like I like to have my life private, not on the internet or anything. Get what I mean? Because I bet some of you guys are probably feeling that way or something. I don't know. If not, all right, all right, all right. Like, what was that? What was that? Okay, all right, all right. But of course, I didn't ask anyone the girl because I didn't make any friends and I didn't have a crush on anyone. But right now I'm not I'm not in the mood to be dating anyone. I explain why, but again, don't want anyone knowing about my love life at the moment. So please respect that. But uh, but yeah, I pretty much went there and uh yeah, my I could see how my dad was a bit worried that I wouldn't have a good time. And funny story, while my mom was chat while we were me and my mom were chatting on the phone uh, she said that dad was a bit worried. He might not have a good time or something, blah, blah, blah. I cannot remember other details, but basically my dad was worried. But my mom told him, like, no, you don't know him. You don't know Matthias. He he, he can handle it. I, I forgot what she said exactly, but I know she said, no, you don't know Matthias. But basically what she said was that you don't know Matthias. Like, he, he, he went full on crazy dance mode at a dance. I saw him do it. I took pictures and videos there. And yeah, I have, I have a couple of days ago, this took place around January 2019, where parents would be going to to a school dance, to like some sort of school dance with their kids. So yeah, basically, I went to my middle school and I brought my mom with me since everyone were bringing their parents with them for like a weird looking school dance. But I, I was, I, I pretty much had a blast there and I went full crazy mode. Like I went, I went completely bonkers with whatever dance moves I was doing. I, 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 I mean, I'd be embarrassed if that if there's a video of that still laying around somewhere in my mom's storage or something. I don't know if she still has a video or if she even recorded the video, but I, I, I just went nuts. Just unleashed whatever I unleashed on the dance floor. And a bunch of kids, along with parents, were impressed with what I did. Like, there's a, like, I even did, like, like, like Spider-Man dance moves or something. Just basically run around the dance floor, jumped over the the seats, those seats that they use for, they use to sit for lunch or something. But I just went crazy and everyone were, just, I, I, like, I went, I did some Spider-Man moves when they played the song Sunflower, basically the Sunflower song from Spider-Verse. I went nuts and one of my closest friends, Ash, like, she, 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 she did my dance moves, but like, I didn't, I, unless, I didn't have the same energy I had for, I probably did, I got to think about, I probably did for the dance floor. I mean, uh, I was, uh, so, I, I, actually, I'm going to get to that part, because I haven't got to the part to where I got there and everything. So, yeah, of course, uh, I finished making my, no, wait, no, wait, scratch that. So, I fast forward, I fast forward to, no, let's fast, ah, yeah, yeah, you know, I'd be doing this video on my phone, but I have storage problems, because there was a video I recorded yesterday where I reacted to the all to dumb trailers, all the Netflix trailers that came out on to dumb, since I forgot that was happening yesterday. But yeah, let, let me scratch, rephrase all that. I'm very sad. I'd be recording this video on my phone, editing it, but the reason why I, I'm making a video on my computer on webcamera.io, I need to upload this video first and then I won't have storage problems. But what I'm trying to say is that, just basically fast forward all the way, a couple of days later and everything, I made some videos, a uh, Venom skit where I was wearing my Venom costume or watching Venom last night. Two nights ago, actually, and everything. Then I just played Fortnite from 10 to 12 yesterday. And then I make some videos, eat, chill, and then try to make my review for Venom. And again, I forgot to do a review skill. I don't know why, but again, I was in a rush. And after I done, I was done making the video, I had to upload it real quick and then get ready as fast as I could. And I basically put on this. I didn't have a tie. My dad did the tie work thing once we left the house but i then got ready i needed to have my dad fix my hair which of course he did this and then i need to find a comb to have it kind of look like that because it was because the way my dad did my hairstyle i looked like dwight from the office yes i watched the office i'm still stuck in season two 
and uh, yeah. Why is there no one talking? Okay, anyways. So yeah, I get ready, and uh, yeah, I pretty much get ready, and my dad drops off Dee and Rylan at um, at a friend's house, which would be Nathan and Leo's house. He, he has been shown the channel and everything, but everything. No, wait, scratch that. That, no, that sounds rude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I feel so rude saying it like that. Oh, God. Okay, so, but let me rephrase that. Um, they drop off D and my dad, me, we drop off D and Rylan at Nathan Leos' house and they pretty much just do their thing there. And then my dad, my dad then drops me off at the high school and wow, everyone looked nice there in their suits and dresses. But like, I was, I was complete, but like, not only everyone looked nice over there, over there at, at the school, but like, I was completely nervous. Like I was about, I was having trouble breathing and I needed to take deep breaths. I needed to take deep breaths. Cause like I was kind of panicking and just so freaking nervous. And like, and fun, uh, another thing I came back upstairs to get my chapstick and thank freaking God I came back up here. Cause like, I forgot I had, I pretty much forgot my homecoming ticket. And once I turned around and saw that, I'm like, Oh, thank God I came up back. I came back upstairs. If, I, if we went there, but I didn't have my homecoming ticket, I don't know what would have happened. I probably would end up missing it or something. But luckily, I was able to bring that because I remembered uh, I needed to bring it when I came back upstairs to grab my chapstick. But yeah, and uh, yeah, I pretty much uh, get I get, I give my ticket to them, and then oh, I, I want to say this was a bit weird, but. I don't want to say it though because it sound it would sound rude, but let's just say I was confused with what happened. So yes, once I gave them the ticket, they she told me to wait for someone, and I'm like, wait, what's happening? And then basically, um, a girl my age, I think, basically, uh, was just making just basically told me to wait for her friend to go. And basically, I I told my dad about this and. He thought I asked a girl or something, but no, um, I guess I had like, um, it was, just, it was very hard to explain because I don't, I'm still confused till, uh, till, till this, like, I'm, I'm confused what, what happened. I mean, I wouldn't say I had didn't have, I didn't have a problem with it. I was all right with it. I, I followed, I tried to follow along or something, but I was very confused. And I, I think it was, I think I, basically, let's just say I had a chaperone. I, I had a chaperone, which sounds weird, I know, I know, but I honestly don't know how to explain it, but probably, I think, I, I think it's probably because I'm autistic, I think I had pretty much had, I pretty much needed someone to watch, to watch me, make sure I don't get lost, or have panic attack or something, blah, blah, just basically make sure nothing happened to me, and just with, be with me at all times, it's very hard to explain, I honestly don't know how to explain it, but Let's just say I was all right with it. I mean, I didn't have any issues with it. I was kind of confused, and of course, every uh, one of my classmates from our class saw uh, saw me and like, oh, you're looking nice, looking nice. I was I was trying to people be polite. I was kind of nervous. I didn't know what to say. I didn't want to sound rude because like I tried to recognize him. I was like, once I saw him, I'm like, oh god, tell me I know him. I I barely know everybody here because I'm still kind of new here. Oh, wait, he's from my art class, right? Oh, thank God, he's from my art class. Okay, I remember him. I remember him. All right, all right, all right. Now I should fully remember him. I really didn't want to be rude to anyone. Like, I don't know you or anything. Because, like, I... Cause, oh, God, I was just so nervous. I didn't know what to say. I tried to think of something polite to say. I was extremely, extremely nervous. I just... Oh, man, I was so nervous. I was really, really nervous. And then eventually, I she pretty much, uh, like, okay, I think I'm done waiting. Let's just and everything and then i see the dance floor and i honestly didn't know where the dance was to be taking place and place outside and outside it was beautiful i like the lights and everything like it was a, it was it, it was really nice like i thought it was gonna be the gymnasium in the gym or something but it was really nice outside was really nice i i i don't think i've been to a school dance that took place outside like the night sky was freaking beautiful and just Everything was so beautiful. Everything was so beautiful. Like, I, I've never seen anything like it before. Like, I was liking the concept of what this homecoming dance was. But, yeah. Then, uh, I, I, so, yeah. 
And then, so once she goes find her friends, I then I'm like, wait a minute, am I supposed to follow her? I'm going to follow her because I think I'm supposed to follow her. I don't know. I'm like thinking, oh God, is she going to be like, why are you following me? Because like, I'm just nervous. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to follow her? Because I think I'm supposed to stay with her all the time or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just like trying to, I'm just acting normal. Just walking around, hands in my pocket. But inside, I'm like, oh God, am I supposed to be following her? I don't know. What am I supposed to do? I, I don't, I don't freaking know what to do. Oh dear God. Can, can someone tell me what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to be next to her at all times or something? Just some, I don't know. But, listen, but yeah, I was supposed to be, I guess, next to her. And she's supposed to be by my side all the time. So, and we all end up playing Uno. And then funny, 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 story, funny thing that happens, they all, they all bet on whoever wins in Uno gets that $5. And I'm like, Okay, okay, I'll join in. I'll, I'll join in. And yeah, uh, yes, I will. I pretty much wanted to win. The, I pretty much wanted to win Uno just so I can have five dollars. But funny thing, nobody wins. But was I upset? Oh, maybe. But I was cool with it. I was cool with it because honestly, I, I'll admit, I don't. I, I don't think I was even gonna win at all because like one of them, one of the, one of them that were on the table, one of the kids that were on the table, they. We're about to win. Let's just say that some of them were about to win, but the, we then put away Uno because one of the songs came on, and then we all came on dancing, and I I was so nervous to dance. I was really, extremely nervous. Like, uh, I I don't I don't know how to describe how nervous I was. Like, I was just extremely nervous, and I I I felt like, and I tried dancing, but I felt like I was embarrassing myself with whatever dance moves I was doing because it felt like I didn't know how to dance anymore. And I would say that in Polly because I haven't been to a school dance in a long time, but mainly because I just, I, I, I guess I just didn't have the energy in me or anything. I was, I felt embarrassing doing whatever dance moves I was doing. I felt extremely, extremely embarrassed and nervous. So, we did, but yeah, we, I, we then came back to the table, then came into dance, back to the tables a couple of times. And then a uh, Spanish song was coming on. And I think I was familiar with what the song was. It was uh, Lambada. I'm not just gonna play it real quick. All right, I found it. So whatever song they were playing, I'm like, wait a minute, I know this song. It was basically this. Uh, hold on. Okay, all right, that's enough. I'm probably going to get a copyright claim for that. But it was that, but it sounded comp... Hi, Rylan. You should have put this. I thought I did. Huh. Yes, I forgot I did. Sorry about that. That was my brother, Rylan. He wants to play fun with me, which... Here, where was, here was the plan. When I, like, once I'm done making recording this video, I'd be uploading it, but also taking this off putting it in my closet, putting on my PJs, going to the bathroom, because I need to go real bad. Sorry, TMI, TMI. I'm not telling you if I need to go number one or two. That's too much TMI there, but basically use the bathroom real quick, then uh, grab my Switch, and then go downstairs. But yeah, that, but yeah, so yeah, they were playing that song. I was like, I know this one, but it sounds different. And I think it was a remix. I think it was a remix, but let me explain about the song. So, so, um, well, I'm just, well, obviously he goes playing songs on his stereo thing downstairs. He has like a stereo. I don't know if you guys have seen it on camera. I probably have to find a video or something, but he's playing that and he plays a bunch of songs that, okay, I'm cool with them. Okay. I don't like that one, but one of them caught my attention and I just like, I'm just like, oh, I love this one. And it's that song. Obviously, I'd played that song. I asked him like, could you find that song? Could you find that song? Maybe I, I actually like that song. And he does find that, and just, like, I basically just, I, that song became my favorite song, because, like, I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but, yeah. I got that song from Javisitos' uh, stereo thing, Majik. I don't know what's it called, but basically there are, like, uh, I'm going to have to show you. I don't know. I don't know, how, I don't know how to explain it, but he has, like, a stereo thing where he plays music, and it's so loud he can turn up the beats and everything, but, yeah, I was familiar with that song. 
I was familiar with that song. And here's something that just happened so quick, which I'm just like, oh my god, I don't, I don't what, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not regretting it, but oh, I'm just gonna get to it. So yeah, um, I see this girl just asking one of her friends to dance with her and everything, and some of them I've said like, no, nah, I'm good, nah, find someone else, and she comes to me, and like, all right, you're dancing with me, and I'm just like. Oh, okay. I'm trying, I'm trying not to say no and just be, like, polite. Because, again, I'm just... I was just so nervous to be there. I was so nervous to be there. But, but, but yeah, I then danced with her. And um, if I remember correctly, we were doing a dance something like, like this. And I... For the entire dance and song. Like, oh, we were holding on the instant. Like, for the entire dance of the song. Literally, the entire song and dance, I kept watching my feet. Because, like, I didn't want to step on her, but I just kept watching my feet because I tried learning how to do that thing. Oh, my God. I'm going to need both my dad and stepdad, which would be obviously to teach me one of those Latino salsa dances or whatever. Since I'm, I'm actually part Latino and Peruvian, but part Latino. But that's mainly caught my attention. I'm part Latino. But still, I just kept watching my feet throughout the entire dance. That, I think that was probably the most embarrassing part. But... I bet everyone can understand, like, you don't want to step on them. So, yeah, I can understand. You don't want to step on their feet or something. But, but yeah, I mean, I felt, I don't know what sweaty palms are. Because, like, my hands were getting a bit sweaty while I was holding her hands just dancing. I mean, I was enjoying the dance. I was extremely nervous, just making sure I don't step on my feet. But mainly, I'm just trying to learn how to do that, just that dance thing. But just, oh, my, it's, it's, it, oh, this I just felt, I just felt nervous and embarrassed. Not embarrassed dancing with her, just, just, just embarrassed. I kept washing my feet on the ground. I, why does that even sound right? I don't know. I don't know. I was nervous. I was extremely nervous. I think it probably had sweaty palms because my hands were sweaty while we were holding the hands. And just, I'm just like trying to stay calm. Just, just make sure I don't step on my feet. Just, just enjoy. Just enjoy. You know, enjoy. And I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. But yeah, oh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, I mean, there's a couple of songs I didn't enjoy. I did enjoy, but didn't dance to because they weren't like my jam or anything. And here's something interesting about with me and songs. I like to listen to songs, not the way of, the, not because of the lyrics, but mainly the way they sound. Not because, of, like, not because of the lyrics. I mean, I'm under, I'm starting to understand about lyrics, like what the, sort of the meanings of the songs, but I'm just... I'm just enjoying it the way they sound. That's how I like to enjoy listening to music. Like, for like for example, if there's a song that has a bunch of F-bombs, I probably wouldn't be listening to that. But if it sounded so good because of the way it sound, I, I I then would like, okay, I like the I like this song. So, yeah, that yeah, I'm just throw that off the bat or something. And I'll admit this. Um, there was a song which I'm like, oh, shh. And that song was the... Leave the door open. Like, funny story. This happened around 4th of July this year. Uh, once I was basically being a DJ for everyone, playing songs that Ray requested, someone, uh, one of them asked me if I had a girlfriend, and I'm like, oh, what? Mainly because the song, Leave the Door Open, is basically for couples, and that kind of made me jealous, guys. I didn't have a girlfriend, and I'm single. Again, don't want to talk about my love life. Don't want to talk about it. I like to keep that private for now or something. I just like to keep that private, please. But yeah, they play that song. And I did want to ask a girl out to the... I did want to ask if she wanted to dance. But I basically kind of blew it. I was just too nervous. I just... I just tried like... Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Damn! I couldn't do it. Damn it, I couldn't do it. Yeah, I just... So yeah, I was a bit bummed out about that. Why I was mainly bummed out is that I barely took any pictures or video. I mean, I took like two video clips. One is me doing a Bully McGuire dance. Doing a Bully McGuire dance. And then the second one, I'm just holding, just showing the dance. Everything. Just showing everyone. And it's basically a 14 second video clip. But once I told my mom about that, she said this, which kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense when I think about it. She said... Once I told her I didn't took much photos or videos while I was at the homecoming dance, um, she says, that's because you were having too much fun. That's because you were having too much fun. So the way she said it, I can, I can kind of, I can, now that I think about it, I can kind of understand because I did have a lot of fun because 
um, I'm just so nervous almost the entire night, but eventually I just, I just kind of snap. I then finally just go for it, and then just finally, just finally dance. I finally just, like, I'm actually trying to remember some TikTok moves, like, if you, I don't know if you follow Charlie Boyo on TikTok. He's a massive Marvel fan. He was also shown in the No Way Home trailer, which I'm still shocked to this day. But I watched one of his TikToks, and he did like a he did like a uh, Avengers Marvel dance thing. Like um, this would be uh, Nick Fury, Nick Fury, and the Iron Man or something. I don't know about that. But what I mainly knew was the the Thor, the where uh, if you don't know what this is, this is this is supposed to be Thor. And this is supposed to be him just doing that thing with his hammer and just something like that. That's I remember a few dance moves from his TikTok about that. And I mainly kept doing that because I knew that easily. I knew that easily. And yeah, I was doing some dance moves. I, I was doing some dance moves. I finally just snapped. Finally, finally went for it. And best part about it, everyone were digging my dance moves. All boys, girls, everyone. Everyone were digging my dance moves. And I'm just like trying to keep going, just like uh, I'm dancing. Finally. I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassing. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I'm having fun. I think I'm having fun. I'm just saying all that in my heart or something, but I'm just having so much fun. I'm just having so much fun. They were all impressed with whatever I was doing. I, that was probably the same energy I had back in this, back in January 2019. I don't know, but I just had a blast. I had a blast. I, I, I had a blast. I, I, was, I kept dancing and just... Yeah! And I got sweaty, of course, so I needed to find napkins, and there weren't any napkins, so I then realized, I'm an idiot. I could just go to the men's bathroom and grab towels, and just... yeah, and once I look in the mirror, I look at myself, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm sweating. And of course, I was wearing a mask. I mean, there's some kids that were wearing masks, some that weren't, but some that had masks, but just around their chins and everything, but still. Um, so yeah, I just kept, whether I'm, I mean, I am vaccinated, but whether I'm, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry about that, just, excuse me. Whether I'm vaccinated or not, I'm going to be wearing my mask for the pretty much for the rest of my life till I die. And I know that sounds weird and probably wrong, but the way I said it like that, till I die. I got that from um from a from a line from a movie which would be Tag where where um uh one of the characters that's trying to tag Jeremy, which would be Jerry uh Jeremy Renner, uh Jerry played by Jer Jeremy Renner. He's he's basically just at a grandma old lady and is trying to tag him and he's just like i will not I, I will never stop till i die i forgot exactly what he said but one of those lines had these words till i die so yeah basically i mean i'm pretty much gonna be wearing a mask for the rest of my life whether covid will be gone or still be around but i'll be wearing a god dang mask till i die that sounds so completely wrong and out of context maybe and I don't even know what out of context means. Like, I'm actually thinking about doing a video where I have some clips of, that are out of context, but I don't know how to make one. So if you guys kind of know how to make an out of context video, let me know in the comments below because I would like to make a video of that. I love the q and Oh my, I look so weird like this. Yeah, there you go. That's normal, but... Look, I got those dick with this! Oh God, I'm embarrassing myself with this video, but... But yeah, I did. I did enjoy myself. I'll say this. Um, I'll, uh, let's say, uh, uh, like, uh, on on a scale of one to ten, how much did I enjoy the dance? Let's just say it's either an eight point five or a nine point five. It's one of those numbers. It's one of those numbers because I, I really did have a blast last night. I did enjoy myself last night. I did enjoy everyone dancing and everything. I I, I had a fun. I had fun. And I'll admit this. I did got jealous when I saw. A bunch of couples, you know, dancing, kissing, so much kissing. I saw two couples that were just, like, kissing. Like, basically, the way they were kissing, it was the same way that teenagers kissed in one of those movies and shows. Like, they were doing the same exact way that I've seen. And, like, oh, my God. That, they're doing the exact same way that, I, that I've seen. I've basically, I've seen this from movies and shows. Like, the way that the, those couples were kissing. I'm just like, oh, my God. Did, did, not that I had an issue with it, but, like, I'm just like, surprised just like oh my god they're they're doing the exact same thing they're doing the exact same thing from i've seen this before I've seen, i don't know why i'm making a big deal about it i don't know i don't know okay forget that i said that maybe i don't know i don't know but i got jealous with you know seeing couples again dancing kissing and yeah just coming with each other 
And you could say, I'm, I mean, I mean, uh, maybe that would sound, I don't know how to explain this, but, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't know how to explain this, but let's just say that I'm just jealous of seeing couples, because I don't have a girlfriend, I'm not in a relationship and everything. Again, don't want to talk about my love life. Uh, not, 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 not now anyways. I'll, I'll talk about it eventually. Just not now. Or tomorrow. Or next month. Just eventually. Eventually. Soon. In the near future. But. <clears throat> oh, God. I need I think I got a horse throw or something. But. But, yeah. I had a blast. And. So, yeah. I pretty much, Once the dance was over. I then. Um, I then. I'm like. Ah, oh, man. The dance is. Actually, funny story. So, everyone is asking one more song. But. I probably saw this coming. I probably saw this coming because I'm like, there's no way he's going to put one more song. Unless he's going to do something loony. And by that, he does put one more song. But really, it's just the themes or out. It's either the intro or outro of Looney Tunes. The DJ puts in the... And I get the concept of what he was, I get what he was doing there. Like, that's all, folks. No more songs. Time to go home. You don't have to stay here, but you could, you have to go home. It's like 10, 10 p.m. It's like 10 p.m. at night. But still, that's all, folks. Hope you had a good night at Mojave High School. Something like that. But yeah, I got, I, I got what the DJ was doing back there, but. So yeah, and then we all are now heading out and home, and uh, also, wait, yeah. oh wait, never mind. I thought there was something else I needed to mention, but never mind, never mind that, never mind that. But but yeah, so yeah, we're all heading home, and I would have headed out already, but I pretty much just left the door open, just basically held the door for everyone, and uh, some of the kids said thank you, and I said no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. No problem. But yeah. And yes. And, and, and um I think one of them said, like, what a gentleman, thank you. No problem. But yeah, um, you could probably say I always like to leave doors open for everyone. But I sometimes do that. Like, I don't do it. I don't do it. I sometimes do it. I don't do it. I sometimes do it. I don't do it. I don't do it. I don't do it. I sometimes do it. But I just do it whenever I would like to. And I'm just like, screw it. Why not? Why not? I mean, no, I mean, like, if, 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 if someone asked me why I left the door open, I'd be like, because why not? Because I do sometimes like to leave door open, especially when class periods are over. But yeah, and then I try to find that thing that they leave the door open, like, I need to grab that middle thing. I then rush over there, I grab it, and the door is about to close, and I'm like worried of smashing my freaking hands or fingers to the door, so I use my foot, and I'm worried I'm going to smash my foot as well, but luckily... It didn't, and I was able to, and my foot was able to catch the door from it closing, and then I put the mill thing on there, so I leave the door open for everyone, and then I head out, because I hear my phone ringing, and I know it's my dad, like, where is my son? Have anyone seen my son? He should be coming out now, but yeah, but yeah, um, I then come, I then come out, and someone says my name, and it's one of the teachers, unless it's the principal, then again, I don't know, it's one of the teachers, <clears throat> one of the teachers, and um, they saw what they what what I did, and yeah, they <clears throat> okay. I'm very sorry. I I think I have like a cough or something, but I saw what they they saw what I did, and they thought it, it was a gentleman way to do. I mean, I felt good about myself. I felt good about myself holding that door for everyone. I felt good about myself doing that. And then they tell what, what my dad they tell my dad what I did, and uh, yeah, and then my dad's just proud of me that I. Pretty much had a good time, dance with a girl, blah, blah, and just dance with everybody. Basically, I had a fun time, and I have a couple of minutes till this video is actually over, so I'm going to have to step brush this, but, but that's what I'm trying to say is that uh, the teachers told my told what my dad, told my dad what I did, and my dad was proud of me that I danced with a girl, but also danced with everyone else and had a, had a fun time, but, but yeah, I guess that's all I have to say uh, about my experience with my first homecoming dance. I'm probably going to be having another one soon in the near future, but if you have experience with this type of thing, let me know any thoughts comes up below. And if you excuse me, I gotta go put this suit away, play Fortnite with my brothers, and go use the bathroom. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, I had a fun time with my first homecoming dance. And uh, yeah.
I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.